The federal government has restated commitments to implement fundamental reforms in the education sector for the benefit of all Nigerians. Minister of Education Professor Tahir Maman disclosed this while declaring open the Nigeria's annual education conference in Abuja and indicated a resolve to overhaul the sector in line with the renewed hope agenda of the present administration. Maman, who reeled out the vision of President Tinubu for the education sector, emphasized reasons the ministry is determined to change the narrative and give priority to knowledge and skills in all levels of education in the country. Every person deserves to live a life of dignity. He deserves a life where he can provide with little struggle for the well-being of his family. And of course, the best tool for this is to empower him. The responsibility of government is to provide the opportunity where he or she can be empowered to achieve this goal. The minister further expressed excitement with some of the sub-teams of the conference, especially as it relates to autonomy of tertiary institutions, entrepreneurial skills, and vocational education in Nigerian schools. We have technical science te uh, secondary schools that have to be fully equipped. We develop appropriate templates, skills templates, that they must have. And even the regular secondary schools, it is part of our plan. Earlier, Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Education, David Adejo, said the NAEC initiative was a concept of the ministry targeted to ensure improved access to quality education in Nigeria. I agree on the responsibility of every stakeholder in providing what is working well and addressing identified challenges. Other speakers in their remarks commended the initiative and harp on the need to do more in tackling the challenges in the nation's education system. Nigeria has indeed made some commendable progress towards this goal. For example, improving access to education. Between 2016 and 2021, primary school completion increased from 63% to 73%. To provide opportunity for increasing skills acquisition and, to, and entrepreneurship education, we are going to develop a pragmatic vocational education framework. The conference was attended by representatives from both Federal and State Ministry of Education, Development Partners and other relevant stakeholders in the education C and in